Now, welcome to this uh, Valley Med uh, demonstration video where we're going to talk to you a little about screening for glucose or sugars in urine. Now, uh, glucose is uh, one of the chemicals that, if it's too high in the body, leaches through the kidneys into the urine and can be screened for with uh, urine reagent test strips or URSs. Uh, what you've got um, showing in front of you on the, the video is a URS 5K product from Wang Cheng, which is quite a common combination of five pads uh, put together onto a urine dip test. This will commonly be used by GP surgery or uh, other health professional to do a, a screen on a, a urine sample that you've been asked for as part of a health check. But it's perfectly possible for people to do their own checking at home with these urine test strips. There's no complicated science or procedure or uh, technology involved. It basically is a matter of collecting a, a urine sample, dipping the test strip in and reading it at the appropriate read time for the product that you've purchased. Now, glucose is one of those uh, tests that is quite widely available, either as a single parameter where you just have one pad on these dip tests. You'll see on these ones we've got five pads because this is a, a five parameter or 5K combination, which has got both glucose, ketones, pH, which is the acidity, protein as a marker, and blood. Now, those are individual screens on each pad, and you get results for each of them by comparing them against the results on the side of the uh, the test panel. But we're going to talk to you a little about glucose screening, and particularly where you can use urine glucose screening as part of a home test to, to determine diabetes. Now, normally, in healthy people, no matter what you eat, you should not be excreting glucose in your urine. So the test strips should always be negative, in healthy adults that haven't got uh, high sugar levels, no matter what you eat, okay? Now, the, the glucose tests on these is the, the, the top test. When they come out of the, the, the vial, if they've been stored correctly and not open for more than three months and not absorbed atmospheric moisture, the color should more or less match the top pad. If you hold the test strip from the bottom up, you'll see that the corresponding pads almost match all of those five matching colour codes on a completely negative test strip. The reason they're not quite the same uh, tone or specificity is because this isn't being dipped in urine yet, okay? But if it was wet, the uh, colour saturation density and tone would be very similar to those all negative results. Now, as I say, a negative urine test result, what will happen is when you dip this into urine and compare it at 30 seconds, which is the read time for most keto, sorry, most glucose test strips, it should remain the same colour as when it's uh, wetted. Okay, It won't change to one of these darker colours. But you'll see the interpretation of this result. If it was one of these darker bands along this top row here, you will see that that corresponds with various levels of sugar that have been detected. Now these are shown in millimoles per litre, which is the European uh, range for, for sugar in urine. A trace corresponds with about 5 millimoles. And then you go to a, a 1 plus, which is 15, 2 plus is at 30, 3 plus is which is 60, and plus 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 plus, which is 110 and over millimoles per litre. Now, what you will find if you have early onset diabetes, which may be completely asymptomatic, or if you are diabetic and your diabetes is not particularly well controlled, at various times during the day, you will detect some level of sugar in your urine. And the higher it is, the more significant it is. You can't interpret any relative blood level of glucose on a urine test result because the urine is produced over a long period of time. Uh, you get peaks and troughs in the blood level depending on what's being consumed and your insulin levels and particularly on diet so that the uh, urine level that you're detecting here is basically an average over quite a long period of time during which that urine has been produced by the kidneys. So this isn't a correlation that you can make back to a blood sugar level. But it is a great first-hand screen or a first-stage screen, particularly if you're at that level where you've not got symptomatic diabetes but there's a family history of diabetes, if you're particularly overweight, if you're getting any symptoms that you're a little worried about, the problem with diabetic symptoms in the early stages are they are all so non-specific that there is nothing that you can really draw on with any accuracy or um, security to, to know that that's specific to uh, high sugar levels. So a great way of screening at home would be to buy one of these URS uh, products with a glucose test pad on it and do a series of tests on your urine and the timing here is of significance for you. You should really be timing it 
couple of hours after you've had a large meal, particularly if you've been eating a lot of carbs or glucose or sugar in your, your food, then a couple of hours after that you will get a peak in the blood level and that will flow through into the kidneys and show higher levels of glucose at those times than when you've been fasting for say uh, 12 hours or 18 hours overnight. So if we were going to use these tests to screen for diabetes in an asymptomatic non-diabetic patient that's got a tendency or a family history of diabetes, the timing that we suggest on doing a dip test on urine would be late morning for the breakfast peak, early afternoon for the lunchtime peak, and about two to three hours after the main evening meal, again, a dip test looking for the presence of sugar and any significant findings on that, even if it's over a trace, then we would suggest that, that if it persists over a course of several days, you should take those findings to your GP, doctor or health professional and ask them to run a glucose tolerance test or screening test, whatever they use for diabetes, to see if you have early onset diabetes developing. Okay, so that's a little advice on how to interpret and when to test for glucose using urine testing strips.